kind of the be all tell all full guide to picking a subscription box. I personally subscribe to Ipsy and Boxy Charms. I'm going to still talk about them in here, but if you are interested in them farther um, than what I provide in this video, I have tons of Ipsy and Boxy Charm unboxings. I'm going to focus mostly on beauty boxes, kind of go into lifestyle, and maybe like, and briefly touch on the other kind of subscription boxes. There are a lot. This is a huge, huge market. It's kind of just, it's fun. It's giving a gift to yourself each month. Start with the cheapest option and work higher. The cheapest option you have if you're interested in beauty boxes and but you don't want to spend that much um, is the Walmart box. Now with the Walmart box, you do tend to get like a little bit higher than the value that you spend. It's $5. You tend to get like maybe travel sizes. From my opinion, I don't think it's worth it. I would rather spend five more dollars and get Ipsy. But you can step up one more and for seven dollars there's the Target box. Now those are a little bit better. They do still have some of the like drugstore trial foil packets or whatever, but they do send like full size CoverGirl products. I feel like if you don't have a lot of money to spend and you don't want to quite spend ten dollars, the Target beauty box might be a good option. Ipsy. I have been subscribed to Ipsy for two years in October. So they send you five items. They guarantee that they're going to be deluxe. Sometimes they are full size. You get a range of products. I've gotten a drugstore mascara and I've also gotten their real by benefit mascara. Like drugstore to high end. There's a full range. Um, it's mostly focuses on makeup but there is but you do get skincare. I do want to mention with Ipsy that their customer service is amazing. I've had a few problems throughout the two years and every time they are really quick at responding and they go above and beyond to satisfy you. Now the counterpart that Ipsy is often compared to is Birchbox. The reason I'm not subscribed to Birchbox is a couple reasons. It's mostly skincare. If you love skincare, this is going to be a little bit better for you than Ipsy. Um, the downside is that they do send more like foil packets out, which is something that you could kind of contact the company and they would send you. The value isn't there as much as it is for Ipsy. I've watched a lot of Ipsy and Birchbox comparison videos uh, month to month and most times Ipsy ends up being the winner. Both Ipsy and Birchbox the boxes are different for different people. They have like, you fill out a quiz about your preferences and that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Uh, just because you say you don't like mascaras, you still might get a mascara. Um, but it helps. What I mean by telling you that is it can help to look at several previous months, but it will also help to look at the same month but several different uh, people's unboxings because they're getting different items. Now a huge selling point for people when I look on forums and whatnot and they're suggesting Birchbox, the reward system. So Birchbox has a store and they sell a lot of like high-end things. It's a store, like they have a lot of options. From my understanding, here's how the rewards work. Each month you review your items and you get 10 points for per review, I think. You get 50 points a month if you review all your items. Then every like a hundred points is ten dollars to spend in their store. Ipsy has a reward program as well but it's not as good. With Ipsy you can get up to 75 a month of points so a little bit higher on the points um, but your options are limited. They change them randomly and so you really don't know if like the next thing they're gonna offer is gonna be better or not and they range so you can there's like a 250 points that you can spend for like a still like sample. Sometimes there'll be stuff for 500 or a thousand points. So like the more points you spend the better the product is. And then with most of the reward systems there are like points for referring your friends. Reward systems are really important to you. Um, Birchbox is going to be a little bit better. I'm going to go into a little bit pricier subscription box. Another subscription box is the Allure Sample Society and that's from the beautybar.com, which is $15 a month. So kind of the middle range between Ipsy and Birchbox and 
BoxyCharm and Glossy Box. I feel like they send a lot of products similar to Ipsy. So personally, I would suggest Ipsy over a, the Laura Sample Society, but that is out there to research. <laughs> the first one I'm going to talk about is BoxyCharm. BoxyCharm is $21 a month. I think I've been subscribed to them for about a year. BoxyCharm guarantees that they'll send you four full-size products and one deluxe-size product. Something about BoxyCharm is they do tend to send the same kind of brands. Um, they're very uh, linked with Tarte, Afra, Coastal Scents. I've seen those three brands several times. There isn't really specialization. They send the same box to everyone. Sometimes there's a few different variables, you know, like we're sending out the hairspray, uh, volumizing spray, and detangler. I don't know. Uh, but <laughs> so, like, there'll be different variations a little bit, but very, very much smaller variations than Ipsy and Birchbox. You can kind of wait to subscribe if you like what's being offered that month before doing it and you'll get that month. With Ipsy and Birchbox, I believe there's a wait list. A note I do want to make about BoxyCharm is if customer service is very important to you, they are not very good at customer service. I have had issues with them as well and they really don't get back to you in a very timely manner. I had a broken item and they took a while to get back to me and then they just gave me points, their charm, their reward system, and then I had a, I got to pick a new item to send, which I mean sort of worked better because I didn't really entirely like the item that was broken, uh, but then the next month I had another item broken and they were supposed to send it in the box in the following month and they didn't, and then when I contacted them again they sent it to my old address. So BoxyCharm does have a reward system, it is currently down right now because they've been updating their site. They said it would be a few weeks. It's been months. It's been down for like two months. So I don't know when their reward system is going to get back up. You get points for reviewing items. It's a little bit more difficult to review items. I always have to kind of like search for the review thing. I feel like in Ipsy it's very clear like where to go to review your items. And I feel like BoxyCharm kind of tries to trick you into not reviewing those items. The things that you can redeem I feel like are slightly better than Ipsy. You have a little bit bigger of a selection. Um, but not as big as Birchbox. And the counterpart, so kind of like Ipsy is counterpart to Birchbox. Um, people who are kind of in the $21 range is the um, boxy term. The other counterpart is Glossy Box. So Glossy Box is $21. I believe there is about the same. Sending four items that are full size and one deluxe. I think I tend to see a bigger value in the boxy charm boxes, but I see more of a variant of brands in glossy box. The next step up from that for beauty boxes, if you are really into beauty boxes, you have money to spend, is Wannable. Now Wannable has several different options and I'm also going to talk about later on throughout this video. Wannable makeup box uh, is $40 initially. If you're subscribing, if you do it every month and you don't return the items, um, all the other boxes, you keep what you get. You cannot return. Wannable does allow you to return the items, which is kind of nice because you're spending $40 and that's a high commitment. Um, if you return, though, the next month is going to be $40. If you keep all the items, the next month is going to be $36. So you save $4. There's a couple things that make, I guess, Wannable worth the price difference. They send really high quality. Um, I've I haven't heard of a lot of the brands that they send, but they, they do send higher quality brands. And they also have a very extensive quiz. And I have never done the Wannable makeup box, but I have gone and done their quiz just to kind of see. And then I just didn't subscribe. And it's very extensive, like, do you like eye products? And then within that, do you like eyeshadow? Do you like false lashes? Um, and you can put like or love on all of them or hate and if you hate it you will never get that item but kind of in the other subscription boxes you can kind of leave out things and say you don't like them but you still might get it Wannable you will not get it if you say you do not like it we're gonna step a little bit farther from the beauty box um, subscriptions and go into lifestyle now lifestyle does include beauty stuff but it also has a lot of lifestyle fitness health food it's a kind of a mix of everything. Probably the most popular, the most popular beauty box is probably Pop Sugar. It is 
interested in more of a lifestyle box and you have $4 to spend, um, I would suggest 11th Gorgeous YouTube channel. They do, they unbox those every month. Um, I actually might be on their test and S. I will decide, I'll look and see what channel they post those on and link it below. I'm like tempted to subscribe to it and then every month I'm kind of like, uh, I really want to use a lot of those and $40 is a lot to spend. The counterpart to that, but it's a little bit different, is the Fat Bit Fun box and it's a lifestyle box but it only comes four times a year so if it's only once a season it is $50 so a little bit higher priced it does send the same kind of lifestyle stuff I'm not super knowledgeable on the lifestyle stuff but I'll kind of like give you links and whatnot to look up so to help you out alright if you are interested in like nail polish beauty boxes like first one is the only one that I've done and that's the nail let subscription box now it's currently down, it's no longer running, um, but it might be, when you watch this video, it might be up again, I'm not really sure. So I'm going to just talk about it really quickly just in case. Um, they sent two mini nail polishes, and they're from like SE, Orly, or OPI. Because it's down, I can't look up what the price was. I only did one month of it, and I canceled it only because I didn't think the price was great. I would have rather just had a full size I think. The most popular nail polish subscription is Julep. So Julep has like you do a little quiz there's like three options and they pick which one that you fit in but you can still change which one you want. It is $24. Um, your first month is currently is $12.49. I know a lot of the times they do sales for like for you get first box free and then the issue with Julep is they are kind of hard to unsubscribe. So they have really good deals to get you in and then it's really hard to get out of it. I have also heard mixed things about the formula. I don't know if the formula is that great. So I've never tried it, but there's that. All right, another brand is Color Hue and they send you three polishes and they are created for that month. So you really can't order those colors outside of it formula I do know of that is really great. I did an ex a contest thing on Reddit and got sent a color hue box. So I got to try it and I liked the formula. A box that kind of like stands alone. There's a couple other subscription boxes similar to it um, but the value isn't there so I'm not going to really talk about it. The Wannable Accessories box. Wonderful, I talked about the makeup. They also have an accessories. They have an intimates and a style. The style is like completely different, but all of the Wonderful accessories and intimates are all the same price. I did it for like three months. The only reason that I unsubscribed was because of the price and I just, it's not in my budget right now. So they send about, I think it's four items in the box. You can like tell them everything like, I like earrings, I like silver, I like gold, I like metal. You know, it's very customizable. I've got really unique items from it. So I got this headband and it's just really unique, really pretty. I normally get compliments on it when I wear it. My other favorite item that I've gotten is this like tribal -y, uh, necklace that you've probably seen me wear in videos. <laughs> These earrings are from Wantable. So that's one that I would love to subscribe to again if I feel like I have it in the budget at some point. So I'm going to put a lot of resources for you in the description box. These are like the most popular subscription boxes that I talked about, but there are a lot. There's such a big range. MySubscriptionAddiction.com. Liz, I think, is the person that writes it, and she subscribes to a ton of boxes, a ton, and reviews them all. So you can like sort through, and so if you want to just look at Ipsy and like go through all of her Ipsy unboxings you can. That is a great resource. Something I didn't really touch base on is like food. There are food subscription boxes, snacks, chocolate, I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot. And if you are interested in food, I didn't really talk about that because I haven't really been interested in ordering food. I, I eat enough as it is. The YouTuber Ashley Elizabeth, she subscribes and um, boxes uh, several food ones so I'll link that below I'll see if she has like a playlist of them because she does a lot of other like beauty videos I really should just suggest like if there's one that you're really interested in just watch people unbox them that's what I did and that's how I 
decided to pick Ipsy and I looked into it a lot. I did a lot of research beforehand. I hope this is helpful. I feel like there are so many beauty boxes. How do you know what is suited for you? Mostly you just need to determine what you're interested in. What is your price point that you can spend? Do you want more hair, skin, or makeup? Like this video if you found this helpful. Comment below if you are subscribed to a box and what your thoughts on that are. So maybe like I gave you all my thoughts and now you can give some of your thoughts and then you know if someone's really searching for a beauty box you know they then they can see my thoughts and your thoughts. Please check out my other videos and subscribe if you would like to keep updated with them. Yeah, that's all I have for you. Thank you for watching.